Hey everybody. In this video we're going to go through the steps to install the Windows Developer Preview for Windows 8. Which if you want to try out Windows 8, it can be downloaded off the internet for free. It used to be in older versions of Windows, Microsoft always had to cover um, loopholes and everything because everybody would be trying to find cracks to get pre-releases of an operating system, but in Windows 8 they decided it's going to say, hey, go ahead and have a look at it. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and start off the disk, we're going to boot off the disk and install Windows 8. So we'll go ahead and restart the computer. I've got my keyboard. Which for those who haven't seen my other video about the monitor recap, this is that monitor. So I didn't actually get a new monitor. I'm just testing this one. Giving it a good long test before it returns to its owner. Okay. Still wants to start off the hard drive. Which of course installing this is pretty much the same as installing like Windows 7 or Windows Vista. Should be really similar anyway. I haven't seen the in I haven't actually installed the installer yet, so we're about to find out what it's like to install the Windows 8 developer preview. This is taking a pretty good while to load the information off the DVD. That drive must need to be cleaned out or something. Yeah, either, either that or there's more information on the Windows 8 disk compared to Windows 7. Windows Developer Preview. Yeah, this is pretty similar to previous versions of Windows. Just say next and install now. And of course we accept the license terms. Which this monitor must have a built-in feature to check the resolution. Gives you like a recommended resolution. Yeah, this is pretty much the same as previous versions of Windows. Same drive options, we'll format the drive. Gonna we'll take care of that. Just give it a minute. Say next. Now we just wait it expands the files and does everything else pretty much just like a regular version of like Windows 7 or Windows Vista
is a little bit different. So they have changed the installer just a little bit. So I'm assuming now it's installing all the drivers for the devices in the computer. There goes the monitor again. Let's just install the graphics driver. <coughs> Yeah, I think it did just install a gra graphics driver because everything looks a, a bit more sharp. The details of the text. I don't know if you can tell on video or not. Which a lot of people out there are installing this on virtual machines. I'm actually installing it on my spare computer. You know, I think it's a little bit easier, it's a little bit better to really analyze the features of the operating system when you have it on a whole separate machine. Because sometimes virtual machines can be a little weak, I, should, I could probably say. At least I know uh, Windows Virtual PC is. I know VMware and others are pretty good. But I still don't think they can really come parallel with, a, with just the power of a standard computer itself running the operating system which of course in Windows Vista Windows 7 after you would get a restart and it will come back to showing the installation window but here are things a little different here we go to set it up so you just give the computer a name I think this is pretty neat. I'm gonna adjust the camera a little bit. I think the setup portion of Windows 8 is pretty neat. I'm gonna cut this light off so I can see a little better. Well, the backlight actually will be better. That's better. Okay. So you can use Express settings or customize. Here for Express settings, we have automatically install important and recommended updates. Help protect my PC from unsafe content files and websites. Send this info to help make Windows and location services better. Check online for solutions or problems. Let apps give me personalized content based on my location, name, or account picture. Enable sharing and connect to devices on this network. I'm going to say customize. I'm going to say ask me later about updates. I'll back install this hardware and device drivers. Leave that turned on. And leave metadata turned on. Help protect your PC from unsafe content files and websites. Use Internet Explorer or Smart Screen Filter to check URLs and file downloads from Microsoft. Keep that on. Smart Screens Filter here. Keep that on. Say next. Send Microsoft info about the web content my apps use to help make the Windows Store better. Which, have you, if you haven't noticed yet, Windows 8 calls your program's app like it's a, like it's a smartphone. Join Microsoft Spynet to protect me from malicious apps and malware. Help improve Microsoft services by sending some location data when you use location aware apps. Help make Microsoft software and services better by participating in the customer experience improvement program. Help make Windows content more relevant. And keep keep everything default here. Let's see, check online for solutions to problems. Get the latest troubleshooting packs to fix problems. Use Windows Internet Explorer compatibility view list to help improve my experience on some sites. Share information with apps. Okay. Let apps give me personalized content based on my name and account picture. Let apps access my location using the Windows location platform. Keep everything default. Say next. And you can type in your username and password. I don't want a password on this machine. Just leave it like it is. Finalizing your settings. Yeah, 
this is definitely much different than Windows 7 by far. Which this will pretty much conclude the installation video once we get to the desktop. Which in Windows 8, the user interface is much different, which you'll see here in just a minute. It's a big, big difference. Anyways, the kind of computer I'm running this on is a, it's my spare system. It has a Phenom 2 x 4905 b processor, 4 gigabytes of GIL, DDR2 800 memory, an old 160 gigabyte Western Digital hard drive. Okay, here is what's called the start screen. Okay. Anyways, back to the specs. We have, I think, a NVIDIA G470 300 something graphics card, something like that. So, I mean, it's kind of half and half. It's not a very high end machine, but it's not really a low end machine either. So, anyways, this is the developer preview of Windows 8. That's how it's installed. Any questions or comments? Feel free to ask.